PC. Then I'll share. Okay, now from the last class, quiet and listen to me. Don't, no need to talk, just listen. You see now, in your project, boys, you see we have homepage about services, contact us and uh, gallery. But I only want the first two. This one will be there. But when you click on this one, it should be able to open the about page for you. This is the about page. See now? But we didn't want to style it. We are going to style it. Okay? We will style it today. Okay? But before we style that one, and I want to show you how to make the project easy for you. Or we should style this one first. Then you are making your website for the story. No, no, no. We are, this is our project. Okay? We are just making, this is, we are using what uh, we are depicting uh, a school project, okay? A school website project. That's what we are depicting. What? Can you talk to Mr. Kram? Is there? Yeah, by now it's, yeah, yeah, it comes. Okay, okay. Okay, now let's look at, let's try to style this now. Okay, if you look at this one that we did in grade uh, grade 10B, we finished with the, the about page. This is what they had. This one, if you look at this index page. Okay, this is for grade 10. If you go to about page, this is what they get from there. Okay, so this will finish this one. What? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because the link is not covering everything. Okay, if you want to make it clickable by all places, you have to put the link outside the list. Okay, by here I put the list, the link, uh, the link inside the list. That's why. So when I click here, it's going to open for me. Okay. Then or here. Then this one also, we try to do this one, but the problem we have here is that, can you see that nothing is there? That is for next term. When I go here, the same thing here, that's for them. We try to take our time to style this thing the way we see it now. Okay. Okay. So let's come back to our own and try. Let's see how to make the project very easy for you. Now, boys, okay, if you want images, okay, you can go to onsplash.com, okay? On splash.com, you can find three images there. That you can write only three images. What? You can only write three images. No, like this one. You see in your project folder like this, you see there is image folder, right? Yes. You need images on your website, okay? Maybe you want to put the logo and something like that. You can go to onsplash.com, then you can find uh, free images there. Okay, there are free images you can find there. Why to listen to me? Then, so now all the type of image that you want, you can go there. Maybe if you want to talk about uh, pets, okay, dogs, yeah. you can just go there and do that. If you want to talk about a company that you want, you can go there, search the for images that are related, you use them. Then, that is on splash.com, you can see that on splash.com. Then also, the videos that I have uploaded, okay, if you go to, uh, the WhatsApp group. I hope everyone is on the WhatsApp group. Yes, sir. If you are not there, you can go to Google and search my name. You can go to YouTube and search my name. You find. Okay, the video is there. So here, you can uh, YouTube. Okay, like this. Then you search for that. Yesterday, I only created the YouTube yesterday and I uploaded it. Okay. So when I go here, okay, I'll just search for my. My account now. Then the video is there. 
Okay, so these are the videos. So you can just from the beginning and also the rest that we have uploaded. Yes, this from the beginning. The ones that we have uploaded on that boy. Who has taken my pen? Who has taken my pen? I have <laughs> this boy. I'm talking. Those boys there are talking. I'm going to record your name and cut you two marks out of the five I will give. Be careful. Okay. Now, these are the videos, okay? You can go there and watch from there and practice from there, okay? Or you can make your own from these ones. It's not, it should, it should not be the same, but this one should guide you, okay? Then also, if you want to make some uh, box shadows, want to make some box shadow, how do you make a box shadow? Like this, quiet, okay? If I can just go here and just create, create a new file, and I'll call it box, box.html, box.html. This one is just to give you the outline how to make some uh, shadows, okay? I'll close this one, also this. Then I have my box, okay? Okay, this one, I don't know. Okay, so this, if I enter HTML, I'm able to get the template. Okay, I'll say box now only. So yeah, what do I have here? I am going to have white, white. I am going to have box. I want to have div, div tag, okay, div element for division. So div, and I'll give it the class of box. Okay, then below here, I want to use uh, internal style, okay, to do that. I'll make a style here, yeah, it says style. I'll remove this media, it's got screen, okay. I want to show you how to find some cool box shadow effects, okay. So once I have this now here, I will just put some, some box shadow, okay, some box shadow. Shadow stuffs, okay. Okay, now here when I save, I will go to where my folder is and find it now. 8A, I have this box shadow is here. If I try to open it, it's going to open for me here. Okay, quiet now. I want to style this one. What do I do? I'll give it, uh, I have given it a class. So inside the internal style, I'll just call box here like this. Then, I'll give, first of all, give it um, background color of, okay, of maybe light pink, you know, light pink, light pink. Okay, then I'll give it width of maybe 70%, uh, okay. Then height, no height, I will not give height, I only give pardon. Padding to open it up. Padding of 40 pixels across it. Then and I'll save it. Then I'll show you how it's going to be. This is what we get now. I want to put it in the center. If I want to put in the center, I'll put margin. Margin here like this. Okay. I'll say zero pixel auto. Clear now. Those talking, I'm not seeing you. Just be careful. Okay, so when I save this now, it's see everything will be in the center. Now it's in the center like that. So if I want to add a shadow, box shadow to this, okay? If you don't know how to make it, you can go to this website. You can search for um, box shadow generator. Box shadow generator, okay? You can Google your way out and find it now. You see, I will use the second option, this one. HTML, CSS, JS, box shadow generator. When I click on it. Then we just copy the link and put it in the... No, you are not copying the link. You are just going to generate your shadow here. Okay, you see the shadow. And this is the code here. 
if I should copy this code here, like this, copy and come to this, my file, I can add box shadow here, box shadow, box shadow. Then I'll put the codes here. Look at what I'm gonna get. So now it's going to give me this shadow. When I go to the box, this is the box. See now, I get the shadow here. I just go there and what find it there. But there are more here. If you want to uh, look at this, if you want to play with this shadow, you can just move this one. You see now when I move this down, when I reduce it, it goes to the what, left. When I increase it, it goes to the right. Okay, a value from zero to 50. Then this one, I just move it to this one, make it in the middle from nine to 12 or 10. Okay, then you get a cool shadow, see that? Then you can also uh, change the, the top and down. You see that the shift down, you have shift right and shift down, you see that? So you are doing that one now like this, quiet. Then the spread, how do you want it spread? Okay, so you just use this one. When you make it more, you see now I spread it more. Okay, so just use reasonable values. Okay, now you reduce the spread like this and the blur, see the blur now, when you make it so big, okay, you can reduce it now like this. Okay, okay, reduce the blur small, the, the spread small, then you get a cool uh, box shadow effect. Then the color of the shadow, you can change it here. See that? See the color of the shadow, you are changing that. Now, if you want to get it very nice, okay, just go and get the color of your, what's the color of the box? Pink, right? Okay, so when you go here, this is where we get it. So here yeah, you see the you, you, you see the preview now. The background color is white. So what do you do now? Yeah, you just find, select the pink here, and you click on preview now. It's going to preview it. And the object itself is no. I'm gonna make it white. Yes, there is no one. Okay, this one white. Now go here. You can pick some light pink here. See the object. Okay, so once we get the object, then. You can try to find a color that will match it now here. See now, see the colors. Try to find a matching color so that everything will be cool for you. Are you okay now? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So these are one of the elements that we can utilize to make your things very easy for you. Instead of you to just figure out from your own mind, you can just go there and do it. Once you finish, look at this. Once you finish, you can go here. This is the code that generated. You click, you copy it, go there and paste it here. I remove this one here, paste it, save. Okay, save. Then when, when you go here and refresh the browser, you see that what you have got in there is there. Let's see. Okay, box shadow. I think you can refer to Where? Where? No, no, not, not like, this is the termination. Okay, margin zero pixel. What? The requirement is to get these two things that I gave you, the home page and the about page. The home page should be 100%, okay, just like my own, but you can get in the colors. And also when, you, when the user clicks on the about, it should open an about page for you. If you are also in the about page, you should be able to come back to the home page. Okay? If you are able to do it clearly, the rest of the theory we will leave it next day. Okay? That's correctly, no problem. Everything is okay. Again, the color is not what? Okay, I'll show you where to get the colors to match them. You can go to coolers.org. Okay, coolers.co, that's where we can get a palette yes. and use the palette to what? To align your content very well, okay? Is that clear, boys? Okay. Now, apart from this one, if you have, imagine you have a button, okay? You have a button on your element. Let's say here, I try to put uh, push some button here. I'll say, okay, 
and click me. I just make a button here, quiet and listen to me. I'll bring it. Just keep quiet. Now let's see now here. Okay, this is this is the okay. Let's change this one and get something like this. Yes, because it's white on white, that's the problem. Okay, because it's white on white, you can see it. But when I change it to maybe this something like this one, you see that showing. So if I copy this like this and paste it, change it here from here like this one, paste, then I'll save like this one and go here. When I refresh, it's gonna show for me. See that showing. But the problem is because white on white, you not see. The background. Yeah. How to change the what? background? The background color yes. of this. Yeah, the background the body. Of this? Yes. The body. You just go to the body and change it. We did this several times. It's okay. So now let's move to this one. We are trying to look at uh, this. Once you are in the colors uh, palette, these are palettes you can get. Yes. To match your colors. Coolest.co. Q C O O L O R S dot C O. You see it in the video, okay? You can check the out. No, you can see it, watch from this video and get it clear. Okay, now you see if you click on these ones, these are the palettes that you have. You can pick these ones and use it to match your website, okay? So these are the things that will make your work very easy for you, right? But how, how do you So you, you see these ones, let's say for instance, if you have this, okay? And you remember the last time we tried to fix this, uh, this our website, okay, this one. We tried to get this background to match with this. Okay, so if you pick, let's say if you pick this one, and each of them, maybe you can make this one the header. The background color of the header should make this one. Then you make this maybe the entire body. Okay, for instance, if I click on this one, can you see that? When I click, it's going to automatically copy for me. When I go here, and in my style, it should be external style, not internal. So when I come here, I will just call my body like this. Then I gave it what background color. I say background color. Okay, boy. Okay, now like this. Then I'll I'll use this one and paste it there like this. Save. When I come back to this and the box, the box here. You see now the background color of the body is changed. Okay. So this one, the idea is to be able to add, match the colors. This is the colors that we have. We call it palette because they, they, are, they, are, they are complementing each other, yes. okay? The reason why we are using this is that we want to avoid the situation where we just have a contact matching of that. Okay, when a visitor visits your website, the colors should match themselves. The text should be consistent. Test color should be consistent. Heading should be consistent. Then also the footer and the header, it should have closed matching white colors. And also the background color, and also background color of some maybe cards or something like that. So those ones make, they contribute to make your website very nice. Not just random, you just bring yellow in here, then you bring green. Okay, I think that you are making a, uh, uh, You're uh, all okay. Uh, Boys, uh, let, let me let me show you. Boys, listen to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you go to this one, I I'm showing last year's. Did I show you the last time? Yes. 
each one, each student has something to talk about. No, sir, I mean, if I want to go to Google and write uh, the name of the website, let's come. No, the, that uh, this one is local. It has not been used online. Okay, oh, yeah. you do it on your PC. Copy the oh, okay. okay. If you want to put it online, you have to buy domain name and one domain speed. Huh? Domain name and domain speed. Like what? Which, what? What? What do you want to call your website? Huh? Uh, yes. Like noon.com. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. What? Yes. Yes. Dot com. You have to go to. Host Gero. If you go to host Gero or you go to GoDaddy, GoDaddy.com, they are selling, they are selling the domain name. You have to buy it. Uh, one month. A month, you have to subscribe for two years or three years. One year you can pay like uh, 12.5 dollars. I think to get that. We are not using it's not. It's not for you, okay? But he said, how do you put it on that? What, what is the name of the website? This one, and I said, no problem. Where is the name of the website? Where is the name of the website? You can go to GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. Uh, so I put there the, and write the name? You, buy, you, purchase, you purchase the name. Yes. Okay? Then also oh, go there and purchase the main page. Right? Okay. If you, then you go there and what? So, so that you just upload all your files to the file. and just whenever whenever any person goes to the you will type the name of your website and so yeah, wow. okay now let's continue now okay sir yeah this one, don't talk about domains here because you're not, this is not our target. The target is to do the interface and give yes. it to me, okay? You want to complicate things for yourself. You want to pay money on good. No. Leave those things aside. Okay, this is student stuff. project. I want to sell stuff, that's why I asked. What? I want to sell things, that's why I asked the question. So learn to do, know how to make this thing. Later on, you can learn how to make it, yeah, okay? Okay, let's continue now. So once we have this, we can have a nice cool looking shadows. Let's say we have a, a button. How do you, these are for buttons, okay? If you want to make your button nice, you can pick any of these, you see them? Okay, let's say, and what I have here, I have a button here, I want to make a button. Quiet and listen to me. So when I get a button here, I'm gonna call it, uh, click me. Okay, so save. When I come here, quiet now. You see that I have this one. Okay, then I can style it a little bit uh, here. I'll come here and see button. Okay, and I'll give it a width of, hey. Okay. So I have a weight now like this. I'll make it 130 pixels, okay? To increase the size and I will give it padding to open it up. Quite a listen. The padding of maybe seven pixels. Save now when I come here. Then you see that this is the button. Yes. Then I can try to remove uh, outline of none, I don't want the outline, okay? I'll give border radius. Border, border radius of five pixels. Five or seven pixels. So save like this. Which background color you want to give, okay? Now, if you want to add box shadow to this, how do you make it? You can go here and pick any of this now. Look at this. If I want to make this one, okay, or this, or this, I will go here and copy this code. You see that? Okay, I'll copy everything here. Control C to copy. Then I'll come here. Then I'll put what? Box shadow this. Box shadow. Then I'll paste here. See the codes are so many. Okay, you paste them. 
Then I will just click on this, okay? I'll click on this one like this. I'll come here. Then when I come here and I refresh, look at what I get, okay? This effect that I have, I think this is double. Yes. So what we do here is that we try to make the background color of that background color. Okay. Okay, we'll give it maybe light blue. Light blue. So that it goes with the rest, okay? If I go here, refresh now. So this still not looking cool. Okay, we can choose we can choose different one here. Okay, if I choose this, this is what I have here. So use this. So you can copy it here. This is the web kit. Shadow. Here. I'll copy from here. This. Copy here, then paste it here. If I, I can just undo what I did from here. Close everything. Yes. Yes, so big. Uh, that's too much. Box shadow. Shadow. Then I'll paste this one here. Uh, maybe I'll just remove this one here like this. Then I'll paste it here. Okay. Then I have WebKit this save. Quite. When I come here and refresh, you see I have that nice looking effect I have here. See that this one. Okay. Any of them that you want, you can pick it from here. Yeah, for buttons. You can even use it for even the heading like this one. Okay, this you can use. It's just there for you if you want to use this one. Where you think it is better for you, like this. No. No, you can't do that. Okay, now and I want to finally look at, uh, now you see, if you go to this website, look at this one. You see these ones? Boys, boys, you see this? This is a font awesome. How do you get them? This is a CSS. I'll show you where to get that one. Also. Quiet, hey. So you go here and type font awesome CDN W3 schools. Okay, I'll just use this one, CDN. If you don't use the W3C, it will give you many options. I like to get the W3C one. Okay, when I click on, when I press on it, okay, if I click on, I press on enter, I see that this is the first option that you get. This is a font awesome. This thing that you see here, these ones, how do you make them? Okay, you need to get the CSS for that. So where do you get? If I click like Facebook, will it bring my Count? Unless you link it, okay? You have to link it there, okay? You have to link it. If you go to your account, there is a place where you can embed, okay? So that you copy the code there and place it in the website. When you click on it there, it will open for you. Just like how we did for the Google and also the YouTube. Similar thing you can do. So here, when I, uh, when I choose this one, I click on it, it opens for me. Then I'll find the content delivery network, which is the CDN. This one, okay? You copy from here up to this. Then go and place it in your codes, okay? If I go to my site, this one, and in the CSS, standard CSS, you realize I have, it's going to open for me. No, not this. It should be in the above this one, linking here. I, I already have it, but I'm showing you how to make your own. Okay, so when you go directly beyond, uh, below the external CSS, then you control V to paste it, you go to the there. Already I have it there. 
That's why you see the. So I'll say on, uh, I'll do on, on those who remove it. Okay, save it like that. Now. Okay, so that you can be able to use some of these icons to make your nice, uh, website look nice. Okay. Now, we will see how to add more things here. Okay. Okay. Now, any, any questions so far? No. Okay, I'll, I'll pause this video, then we'll go back to our project and continue there, okay? So now this one, I'll upload it. This is just to give you simple way of what? Uh, some aids in the website making. Now look at this. If you go here, okay, I only want this one about and what? Index.html. So if you link on this index.html, these are the codes that we have, okay? Then when you go to the about also, I copy the index, okay? And place it there and try to remove the content. The one in between the main, and I put my content there, okay? So just look at it very well, and it's going to be easy for you. Now, let's, um, let me close this box. I use it only to show you how to make box shadow, this one, okay? So once we are done with this now, I am going to close. Okay, so boys, this is the only thing that I need in the exam. In your project, only this, I see this is the home page, the first page that you have, everything should be in touch, okay? But. Even when you click on these three things and nothing is happening, it's okay for you. But when you click on the about, it should be able to open for you the about page. See the about page, okay? If you click here, it should be able to open for you the home page. Okay, so that's how to make this one. Then uh, I want to stop the video, then we can move to that. Or maybe let's continue from there. Okay, let's go to this. And boys, are you with me? I am in the CSS about page here. On this our uh, page here, this doesn't look nice. We want to style this one, okay? So how do you do that? This one is uh, arranged appositely. Let's make it look nice. Okay, if you go to the CSS, I'll go below there like that. Okay, all the things about the, about us, uh, CSS, they come below here. Okay, I have the main, the image is there, then I have the aside. Aside, I'll copy this aside thing, copy, paste here, then I'll do this one. I want to target this aside uh, H3, okay? So I'll call the H3 here in the style. I'll say H3, then I'll open this one, okay? Then when I have color, I want to give it a color similar to what I have there, okay? I want to match the colors. Which color do I have to match here? Here, this one, which color should I make it? This or this? Yellow, not good. Let's move, let's take it from this one. This background of the header, this color. This one, I will take from here. Cut from here like this, straightforward. Bring it here, okay? Then I'll come here. Paste, save now. Okay. Okay, this. Then we can al align the text. Text align. What is that? Center. Save. Five minutes will finish. Okay. So when I refresh now, it's in the center. But this thing, where is it? 
our mission here. We have to try. Um, let's see what is there. And about our mission. Okay, this is more about, more about here, okay? So here, I'll just call the more about. Okay, more about, yes. So when I have more about here, this, then I'll open this one. I want to clear both, okay? Clear both. The clear boat will just uh, arrange this one here. Okay, look at that. So you see now it has arranged it there. Okay, yes. so if you go there, go to the about.html, you realize that we have this about cat. Okay, and there are classes. We will start to style them. How do we do that? We'll say about dot about cat. Okay, then. I'll open here, I'll say float, float left. I want to float them left. Then I give them a margin of maybe 10 pixels, like that. Okay, what do we get now here? See now, they are not floating because of the, their sizes. Okay, so here, what we'll do, give them the weight of, <laughs> okay now let's let's give width of maybe uh 30 percent okay 30 percent save now watch what we get now so we you see now it's okay now like this right it has moved it Okay, now let's, um, uh, okay, we will continue the next class. Yes, we try yes, to push and see you in the next class. Yes, yes,